What's going on everybody? No Sense 305 here and you guessed it with another Tank Update. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back, and um, I'm just going to explain some of the things that came in the mail. We got a couple of packages, um, brand new. First off, I wanted to go over very simple things. That's going to be my output uh, pump. I believe it's a Sun Sun. It, uh, it's, I believe, 800 gallons per hour. I have a 500-watt heater there. And I have a power head, which is 500 gallons per hour. I'm using two smaller ones. You see, I don't know if you can see one stuck onto the glass right there at the top. Um, so I'm using two smaller ones because I, in my 120 gallon, my previous tank, it had a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, current. Um, I'm trying to dial it down a little bit because um, I just didn't want that much current in the tank. So, uh, yeah, that's the couple of things that came in. You see I have a skimmer there. I have a brand new one, a Red Devil something or other. I, I don't know the name. I'm, I'm sorry about this, guys. It's rated for 100 gallons. Um, so those are the things that I have. Also, if you see at the top of the 120 gallon, I have a little cardboard ring right here. Um, now, what that is is for the acrylic rods. Now, I've seen this done before, so I didn't create this by any means, but basically I'm going to be using these um, acrylic rods, and I'm going to be cutting them to length. I'm going to be drilling holes inside of the rock, cutting them to length, and then drilling a hole in the other rock so that I can slide it right on so I can create some really, really, really good... Uh, rock formations and stuff and I'll do a video on that once I get a little bit uh, into it a little more but uh, so those are those are the new packages I still have a couple of more packages uh, on its way um, I also have this PVC I don't know if you can see it in the middle it's really thick 40 schedule PVC now the re whoa, whoa. All right, the reason that I have that PVC is because I wasn't sure on how I want to run uh, this refugium so this is the idea that I have and I was given uh, some suggestions on Instagram and some videos that I posted on Facebook groups or what have you um, I'm gonna have two outlets here I'm gonna have one outlet here in the 20 gallon I'm gonna have an outlet here in the 10 gallon so the the display tank is going to drain into these two tanks uh, separately this is gonna have a low flow because I want this to be my refugium I'm going to be drilling a hole in this 20 gallon to go to the 10 gallon but I'm going to want to bypass one of the chambers so how I'm gonna have the chamber set up let me get a little bit closer so you guys really see what's going on so I'm going to have this set up um, as this chamber here I'm gonna put baffles here so I'm gonna have the chamber closest here is going to be my return pump huh? Okay, that's going to be there. I'm going to have a UV filter, just so you see the above you. I'm going to have a UV filter here. I'm going to have one chamber uh, separating it. And then I'm going to run the a pipe that comes from the 20 gallon past the skimmer chamber into the media chamber. So I'm probably going to put a baffle uh, separating the skimmer and the inlet and then I'm gonna have a baffle separating the heater and the outlet and the outlet pump so I'm gonna have the PVC because I'm gonna put a bulkhead on each of these I'm gonna have a bulkhead on the 20 gallon I'm gonna have a bulkhead on the 10 gallon and I'm gonna run a pipe between the two and then I'm also gonna have a pipe come through the 10 gallon into this chamber because I don't want the little critters getting sucked into the uh, the skimmer that I have so that's the plan it's all subject to change right now that's what I have on my mind if you have any comments how I should do the refugium or if you think that's a dumb idea um, and you have another suggestion I'm all up for it right now right now I'm in the planning phases going nice and slow till I get exactly what I want um, and I want to incorporate this really cool acrylic box that I have um, it's for filter floss 
as opposed to using a filter sock. Uh, it has a whole bunch of holes in it and uh, you just put filter floss here and close it right up. And that's that. It sits right on top of the 10 gallon, but the tent that on top of there, it's going to be, it's a lot of space. The 10 gallon isn't enough. And um, I'm either going to have to buy a bigger tank, which my wife definitely isn't going to like, or I'm going to have to find a way to either incorporate it in another way or take it out altogether. I uh, haven't really figured it out yet. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, uh, suggestions, if you just think the idea is stupid and I should just scrap the whole thing, let me know. Um, next week's video is more than likely going to be about my rock skate. I'm going to get into in depth with more of the cutting of the acrylic strips and putting them on the rock and how I'm going to have it set up. What I really want to do is some L, I'm going to do some LPS and softies. So for the most part, I'm going to do a, like a ZOA arc somehow i don't know I, I haven't really figured it out yet i'm so far away from putting anything in here that uh that all could change so thanks for watching guys um i'll catch you next week video and um like i said like comment subscribe do whatever you guys got to do all right have a good one